you'll stand in the congregation. I could go through all kind of scriptures, ordination scriptures and all that, but that's really not necessary. I'm not giving much over to formalities. But I do know that the Bible says that when Paul would send his uh, ministers out, he would charge them in the name of the Lord and give them a, a charge and an ordination. And so that's what I want to do uh, here today, just give them a charge in this work of the Lord. Amen. And then we're going to go down and anoint them with oil and lay hands on them. Praise the Lord. And <clears throat> hallelujah. Boy, I feel the Spirit, I tell you. Amen. Why don't the four of you just kneel at that altar while I give this and you and the congregation get in a real prayerful attitude and I'm going to pronounce this charge over them in Jesus' name. I charge you both in the name of Jesus Christ to preach this gospel to every preacher that God entrusts you with. Expounding the way of salvation as Philip did to the Ethiopian. I charge you both that those who believe with all their heart be baptized in the name of the Lord for remission of sins. I charge you to lay hands on them that believe that they may receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives the utterance. I charge you as Jesus charged His disciples. Heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. Freely you receive. Freely give. I charge you to study the Word with open-mindedness. Hallelujah. Allowing the full plan of God to come forth in Holy Ghost revelation. And as the Lord told Jeremiah to pay no attention to the look on their faces as you deliver what God has delivered unto you. Do not be ashamed or afraid of any revelation that the Lord gives you. I charge you to never find a parking place but to preach through every wall that is fortified by religions and traditions and doctrines of men. I charge you both to preach the only message that Jesus preached and that is the kingdom is come both here and now. It is not natural. It is spiritual. It cometh not with observation but it is within you. Preaching that Jesus Christ is God as well as Lord, Savior and Christ, the head of His body, the church. And I charge you as Paul did Timothy that you stir up the gift of God that is within you. And I remind you in His name that all nine gifts of the Spirit are evident in every one of you and your wives because you have this one Holy Ghost uh, to call to remembrance the day of your illumination that you may forever flow with the glorious light of the revelation gospel that Christ has entrusted you with in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Would you reach your hands towards Jesus morning? Oh, hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, as your pastor, I lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus, I commission you, I ordain you, I set you forth as ministers of this new covenant. and flame to burn in you oh for the anointing of God to flow and to drop from your lips as honey from the cone in the name of Jesus do the work of the Lord and prosper in it as you go hallelujah 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the name that is above every name as your pastor I lay my hands on you in Jesus' name, I ordain you and I anoint you into the gospel ministry of this new covenant. Oh, hallelujah. I thank God for you and I bless you in the name of the Lord. And I pray for the anointing to run and ooze and rip from your life. I pray for your tongue to be the pen 
revelation of a ready rider and for the anointing to abound and abound unto you daily. Let fire, passion, zeal, and flame be in these hearts forever and always in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Lord, I pray in the days ahead that every storm will be reminded of this day, this hour, this anointing, when the Spirit of God showed up in this room to confirm these men and their wives into the duly ordained and appointed ministry of God. Let every person they come in contact with feel the effects of their anointing and, and, and the seal of their hearts and the knowledge of God that is within them. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Would you praise the Lord with me just for a little bit here today? Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Hola, my son. Hola, my son. Oh, hallelujah. We're seated in heavenly places. And nothing can harm us there. We're seated in heavenly places. We're seated.